everyone and welcome to a new instalment of Teach Me in 10, a video series brought to you by LabTube, part of Technology Networks. In each episode, we ask a scientist to describe their area of expertise in no more than 10 minutes. My name is Laura Lansdowne, I'm a Senior Science Writer at Technology Networks, and for today's episode I'm joined by Dr William Lee. Dr. William Lee is an internationally renowned physician, scientist, and author of the New York Times bestseller, Eat to Beat Disease. His work has led to the development of more than 30 new medical treatments and impacts care for more than 70 diseases, including cancer, blindness, diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. His TED talk, Can We Eat to Starve Cancer, has had more than 11 million views. He is president and medical director of the Angiogenesis Foundation and is currently conducting research in the global fight against COVID-19. In his Teach Me and 10 talk, Dr. Lee will discuss the relationship between food, health and disease. Imagine if we studied and tested foods in a similar way to medicines. How do the foods we eat interact with our body and how do our food choices influence the susceptibility we have to disease? I will hand over to Dr. Lee to tell you more. Food is medicine, a phrase many of us have heard, but not many understand. Because yes, food is healthy, but how do we know that it actually works in our body? Well, the answers are coming from the biotechnology community, because over the last 25 years, more than 800 drugs have been approved by the FDA using methods and testing systems that have demonstrated how a drug that we introduce into our body actually has an effect. Now imagine if we actually used foods and studied it in these systems to see how foods actually interact on our health defense systems. These are defenses that are actually activated by pathways inside our cells, connecting our organs and controlling how well we actually are able to resist disease. Foods can actually activate health defense systems like angiogenesis, our circulation, or help protect our DNA, or influence our stem cells to be able to prompt regeneration, healing from the inside out, or help us have a better gut microbiome, our healthy bacteria, and even prompt our immune system, which is really the focus in the era of COVID-19. So here are 10 things you should eat that science has shown us can activate our immune health defenses. Let's start with the first one. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a good source of vitamin C, and besides being delicious to eat, we know that deficiencies in vitamin C can actually make one more vulnerable to virus infections. So here's a way to actually boost your support your immunity with tomatoes, and it could be a whole tomato, it could be a cherry tomato, a big one, a small one, it could be tomato paste, tomato sauce, even tomato powder. So the next time you open your recipe book, look for tomato recipes. Mushrooms, a great source of vitamin D and a bioactive called beta-glucan. We know that deficiencies in vitamin D actually can make you more vulnerable to infection. So here's a great way to actually have uh, not only delicious food, but also to support your immune system. Beta-glucan actually activates the antibodies in our saliva that can protect us against virus infections. Broccoli sprouts. This is not your mother's broccoli on a plate, but rather three to four day old baby broccoli that have been studied in the context of actually influenza vaccines. And we know that actually if you have broccoli sprouts, even given as a shake, you can actually boost your body's immune cells, your natural killer T cells, by more than 22 times. That's a pretty good boost by having a shake. Olive oil has been studied in humans and also found to activate our immune system's T cells. These are the actual soldiers that tackle a virus. And we know that there is a bioactive in olive oil called hydroxytyrosol that is much higher in the extraversion form of olive oil. Next up, 
blueberries and blackberries, they have this beautiful color due to a natural dye that's called anthocyanins. And these have been shown to actually amplify your body's immune natural killer cells. Again, the cells that tackle viruses. Who wouldn't want to actually eat something like this? Next up, a surprise, oysters. Oysters have been studied by cancer researchers for their ability to amplify the immune response against cancer cells. And one of the things that has been discovered is that extracts from oysters can actually improve the size of your immune organs, like your spleen, your thymus, and amplify, again, those natural killer immune cells. This is an instance where size does actually matter. Not everybody likes oysters, but you can always get oysters through oyster sauce, which is a delicious way to actually dress up your vegetables. Now let's talk about, about the microbiome. This is healthy gut bacteria. And we know that our gut bacteria actually talks to our immune system and helps to actually give it air traffic control instructions. How does the immune system actually work? We know that there's 37 trillion bacteria that live in our gut, and most of them are actually good guys that help uh, control our functions from our brain to our immunity, to our skin and our metabolism. We also know that our gut, good healthy gut bacteria can control our immune system. And this has been studied again by cancer researchers who have found one bacteria in the gut called Acromancia mucinophila. Acromancia is a normal natural healthy gut bacteria that loves to live in the mucus, hence mucinophilia, in our guts. So we've got normal healthy gut bacteria living in our mucus and when you have pomegranates the juices actually cause our gut to secrete more mucus which allows the bacteria to grow which can then amplify our immune response the great news is we can actually get this mucus generating bacteria acromancia fostering effect just with by drinking uh, pomegranate juice green tea we know that green tea lowers stress, lowers anxiety, lowers cholesterol. But now we know that it actually can raise our bacteria called lactobacillus, which then boosts a virus-fighting cytokine called interferon gamma. We've heard about cytokine storms in the COVID-19 crisis, but actually not all cytokines are bad. When it comes to interferon, this particular cytokine is designed to kill viruses. So green tea contains EGCG, which helps grow bacteria, which amplifies our antiviral fighting properties. Pecans, one of my favorite tree nuts. Great for a snack, great for cooking, you can add to a salad, even to a pasta. Pecans are actually a great source of dietary fiber and our gut bacteria loves to eat that fiber and actually use it to metabolize and create other fragments but we don't digest, the bacteria digest, and those fragments can actually boost our immunity. Pecans also are a good source of polyunsaturated fatty acids, good fats, and it's been studied now to show that it can increase a bacteria called ruminococcus, which again, guess what? Increases interferon gamma, the virus killing cytokine. A great snack that can help us have a better immune system. And that's 10 foods that can actually help support our immune system, supported by researchers looking at the key parts of the immune system that could be helpful against infection, specifically viruses. It's possible to eat to beat disease, and I've written about more than 200 foods in my book. Please check out more information that I'm presenting on my website, drwilliamlee.com, or you can find me on social at Dr. William Lee on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll be back next week with another installment of Teach Me in 10. If you can't wait until then, check out our Teach Me in 10 hub page for lots more videos. Bye for now.